Hello everyone, Light Money Game here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> so, last time we were, um, doing really, really terrible. Um, but we're at least healed up now, and that's okay. Um, hmm. Looks like everything is pretty decent here so far. Alright then. Um, let's get out of here. I don't see anybody right now. Ah, there's someone. I want to see how close they are until they can hear this. Holy shit, they can't even hear it that close. Alright then. Snake, Sokolov is imprisoned in the northeast area of the factory. Got it. To the northeast. Yes, and don't engage the enemy. The object of this mission is to bring Sokolov back safely and nothing more. Contact Sokolov without being spotted by the enemy and bring him out discreetly. If you must dispose of an enemy, do it with the tranquilizer gun. Okay. Do you want to save? You yeah, I've been doing terrible. Yes. <laughs> Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? That sounds familiar. I've never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. <laughs> and don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. <laughs> oh, I love her already. She seems really fun to be around. That area is home to the reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. Right. But how do they taste? Huh? Do they taste good? You're actually going to eat one. Why else would I be asking? 
cannibal. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Good. I can hardly wait. Oh. <laughs> no response. That's not good. Miss my opportunity. By the way, <clears throat> I learned that apparently they did get rid of the um, square button being a button to choke out people. Wait, did someone see that? Damn it. So yeah, you gotta shoot him near the gate. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> anyway, um, so my thoughts on this game so far. Um, I must say I am liking it less and less from Metal Gear Solid 2, but that's not a big deal. I've heard good things and bad things about this game. I've heard some people say it's more realistic and that's why they like it. And I've also heard people say that it's the realisticness that kind of takes away from the game and makes it seem less enjoyable. Um, I've also heard that this was the least favorite game in the series, in some cases, along with the uh, next game in the series, Metal Gear Solid 4. <clears throat> but, um, of course, the only other games that are more terrible than this is the like. Uh, remakes that they made, like um, that Metal Gear Solid that features um, that ninja guy. That one's supposed to be really terrible from what I've heard. And there was another one that came out too that was not very well done either from what I heard. So, I don't know. Just something that I've noticed. Yeah, they seem to just be kind of walking along the um, one thing. I like how the grass just like grows back up, which is completely unrealistic though, so I don't know. Okay, will they be coming back through here? This is HQ. Patrol here. Unable to locate the problem. Understood. Return to your position. It's no fun not hearing back to your goddamn position. <laughs> you know?
you got for me? Bullets? Thank you. Appreciate it. Doesn't seem to be anything around. Oh, there's a guy. Huh? Who is that? Yeah, that's a way to like quickly knock someone out, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, if you hold the circle button when near somebody, you'll throw them to the ground. Um, which, while on paper is a good thing. Jeff grenades. Oh, there we go. Yeah, while a good idea on paper doesn't always work, so... Keep that in mind. So we know that guy will be getting up real quick, so we gotta be very careful as we make our way through here. Where's my scope? There it is. Mm, I don't see anybody over there. I don't know if I can even get in there. I'm trying to think of it. Let's just walk over here and find out what's over here. I don't mean walk, walk. I mean, you know, sneak. Okay, so this is considered dirt and all that. Oh my god, that looked like a person for a second. Now, sadly, this won't work in this huh? case, probably. Is that him? I see him. Yeah. Let's get out of this. zoom out enough to find out if they left. I mean, we can just try it, I guess. Oh shit, the guy who's asleep's about to wake up. There we go.
You know, it may not be a bad idea to tranquilize this guy. There you go. That way he doesn't come back really quickly. Nick started itching right there, that sucked. <laughs> So yeah, instead of sneaking in like that, it seems like the best course of action is to come over here, press up against the wall. I only told you to crouch, idiot. Okay, I'm gonna start over. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking son of a dick! That was bull. I'm sorry, my throat just was like, no, fuck you, I'm done. And just like, no, I'm not doing this. There we go. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Should actually be able to just hide right here. Think. No. To shoot him, we need to come up here. Oh my fuck. Okay, let me see. Okay, yeah, we got everything back. God's sake, that's bullshit. How many times have I already died? Like four fucking times? That's bullshit. I mean, you gotta be fucking terrible at a game to just constantly die like that. I mean, back when I was playing that other game, I was playing before this one. Good God, I died plenty of times in that game too, but at least those deaths were fair. And this one, it's just like... It's the only way to, like, restart, because, I mean, it's not like you can just... You know, keep going, because... It's better if you just restart. And for you guys out there who are like, Mike, just stop restarting. Just, you know, try to go back and try to reset the map and... Don't give a shit. And it's like, no, no, that's not how it works. If I'm going to do it, I want to do it perfect. I don't want to, like, fuck it up, because that's just bullshit. You know? Anyway, here, let's take a look at our map real quick, because i got to see... Okay, we have a general idea of what this place looks like, it looks like. Okay, that didn't help us much at all. <laughs> okay, where is this bastard that's supposed to be coming over here? Wow, that's... <laughs> so it's dependent on your camera which way he'll go on the analog stick. That's kind of stupid. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, really stupid. Oh, fuck you! Turn around! the other guy. What 
that's wrong. Got him. So it looks like the way I've been trying to get there is not the way to do it. In the game, like game guide, like you know, like the little thing in the game book jacket or whatever, it tells you never just like try to follow what the game <clears throat> makes it look like you need to go. Like that back way over there, it's like, hey, you could go that way, but honestly, it might be better to go the direct approach around it, you know? I don't know. Alright, make sure they're hidden over here just in case I get caught like a dumbass again. Alright. Okay, our stamina is getting really low. Have I not. I didn't equip it like I thought I did. Oh, yeah, I did. It's right here. Oh yeah, you don't eat it like that anyway. <laughs> you eat it like this. I want some more. Do you say I want some more? <laughs> okay. It actually sounded like at first he was like, Oh, that was disgusting and then just was like, Okay, whatever. <laughs> But that got us a little bit better. I don't know if you do something with those drums, you can knock them over. But I don't know if that makes a lot of noise. Maybe I can just like hide here and not get seen at all. Is that blood on my leg? <laughs> it looks like it. It's actually kind of funny. Someone to that direction. Maybe it's a snake. Yeah, I think it actually is. Yeah, look at that. Eek! Yeah, that's definitely a snake. Got it. Okay, nothing else nearby, so we're okay. Alright, let's take a look at our, uh, Captured snake real quick. Particular python captured alive. Snake captured is doing a mess pattern. Not eaten yet, taste unknown. I don't think throwing that at someone would be a good idea. But anyway, if you uh, 
capture a animal like that, for example, uh, you can keep it forever. It'll be, it won't hurt you or anything, but like you can actually eat it later if you need to. So that's why I decided to do that. Or if you want to use it as a hitting the right button, if you want to use it as a weapon or something like that, you do it like this. <laughs> I don't think that would be such a good idea though, because um, that would bring attention to you, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, anyway, that's the end of this episode. I just realized how close we are to the next one. Till then, everyone. Bye.